What's up, Barney family? Welcome back to my channel. So today for you guys, I have some Dollar Tree DIYs and hacks using these little wooden boxes that you can get at the Dollar Tree Crafter Square section. They have like different uh, shapes in the front and usually this part is this color, but I had stained this. So I actually started this whole video all the way back in early August. I remember when I did this one organizer, main one that you're going to see in the beginning. It was like August 16th that I did it. It's been a long time in the making for this video to come out, but during that time, wasn't really sleeping and I was still trying to figure out Cooper's sleeping schedule that I was filming like what, a couple of weeks or three weeks after Cooper was born. Uh, things are a little bit better, so that's why I'm finally getting this video out like three months later. You can use these boxes to create so many different things. I actually have more ideas than what you just see here, so if you want to see more of those ideas, let me know down in the comments below. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Let's see if we can get this video to 5,000 thumbs up. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not and click the bell button so you're notified every single time that I upload. With that being said, let's begin the video. And Saturday, I will have a Christmas DIY video out. So look forward to that. Let's begin now. Now the main item we're gonna need for any of these DIYs are obviously the wooden boxes that Dollar Tree carries. Now no two boxes are alike. Some are a little bit bigger, some are a little bit smaller, some are a little bit more warped. So when you're making any of these DIYs, I recommend placing all of the boxes you see at Dollar Tree out and trying to get ones that are the same. That's something I did not do. For our first DIY, I'm going to be taking the boxes that are inside of the main box and flipping them around so that the design that is in the front isn't showing anymore. If you want the design to show, you can go ahead and do that. What I'm going to be doing is taking eight of those outer boxes and gluing them together. But before I do that, I lay them out and try to get as many of the boxes that are similar to each other to be the ones that are attached to each other, if that makes sense. Just because, like I said, some are bigger, some are smaller. So I want small ones to be near each other and big ones to be near each other to try to get this thing as even as I possibly could get it without it looking super lopsided because all the boxes are just completely different sizes. Once I have them all sized out, I go ahead and I glue them together. Now you just want to use a wood glue to do this. Dollar Tree does carry a super glue wood glue, but I ended up using some wood glue sticks just because I didn't want to wait a long time for this to dry for video purposes. I personally recommend using the regular wood glue versus the glue stick wood glue just because the glue sticks kind of warp the boxes a little bit more and I only did this because I'm filming I want to get it done fast and I have a newborn I don't have much time so that's the main reason why I use the glue stick wood glue but I recommend using the other glue just because it doesn't warp the boxes as bad once I have all eight boxes glued together, I take these wood planks from Dollar Tree and I cut them down to fit the sides and the top and bottom of my boxes. Now, like I said, the boxes, some are big, some are small, so there's this part at the top of what I'm making that kind of like wasn't even at all, so I used the wood planks to make it even. And then I also used the wood planks, like I said, to go on the top and sides to try to cover up some of the little spacing that happens between the boxes to try to make it look more like one unit. To cut the stuff, I was just using a razor and scissors. I'm using that wood glue stick yet again to glue everything down. Now you can go ahead and paint this whatever color you'd like. I'm just using a white chalk paint. The paint is called Waverly White Chalk Paint and I got it from Walmart. And I just use a sponge um, to paint this thing. The sponge I actually got from Dollar Tree is just a painting sponge. I didn't have any wood filler on hand so instead what I was doing is putting a good amount of paint within the cracks where to boxes met to try to cover up those cracks and if you don't know what a wood filler is it's just kind of like a putty almost that you stick between cracks or holes in wood to cover it up and make it look more seamless so you can go ahead and buy a white one if you're doing it white like I am and it can cover up any of the spaces where two pieces of wood meet instead I was just using paint like I said to kind of cover up where those holes were. I also made sure I painted my boxes which are going to be drawers and I placed them back inside of the bigger boxes. Now the only thing is trying to figure out which boxes go into which box because some of those are bigger like I said than some of the outer boxes so I was having a hard time. It's like playing with a baby toy which shape goes into which shape. 
Anyways, the next thing I'm doing is taking these metal label holders that I got from Hobby Lobby half off for $2.50. So I ended up needing three packs of those for this. I had an extra one left over. Now I just kind of place them out, make sure I have them laying where I want them to be. And then I used actually just my wood glue to glue them to my little drawer unit and it, it worked fine. You can use E6000. I really don't recommend using a hot glue for this because it's just going to fall right off. So you want to use something that's more heavy duty and it's not going to just fall off on you. You can go ahead and add labels now if you'd like. I ended up using some stamps and ink. To, um, press on some words so I did nail pins keys and pens even though the only things that actually fit inside of these boxes are pins and keys I have serious newborn mom brain right now where like I can't remember anything I just do things I don't intend to do lots of times so I started to put keys in a spot that I didn't want to put it and I realized afterward that I did that so then I put keys in the spot that I wanted to put it and I covered up the original one using some printing paper. You can use your printer and computer to just type out things for the labels and do it that way if you don't really want to write it on a piece of paper. You can use stamps like I did, completely up to you, but I ended up making this really cute drawer unit with Dollar Tree boxes and I saw something similar on Amazon for 50 bucks. It was way cheaper to make this. Now the next DIY I'm going to be using just the outer box, not the little drawers that come with it. Don't throw this away, you can use them for other ones. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this Verithane Dark Walnut Wood Stain to stain those outer boxes. You can use an acrylic paint if you want to, you do not need to use a wood stain. If you want it to be a little bit more like a wood stain, you can water down the paint that way and then use a painting sponge or a washcloth to go ahead and stain the wood. It is much easier to stain the inside of the wood with a painting sponge than a washcloth. Now what I'm going to be doing is I am going to be taking quite a few of those boxes and just spacing them out to be a design that I'm going to be putting in the corner of my wall. So I'm making it where almost an inch of each box touches the other box. And then I'm going to be gluing that using wood glue. I did not use the wood glue glue stick for this one i actually glued it and let it sit overnight and by overnight i mean like 10 days because i filmed this thing a long time ago but like i said i'm gonna keep saying i have a newborn so time is not of my own anymore <laughs> it is my newborn so it's like do i have time to film today do i have time to do anything today other than feed and change diapers who knows? Once it's all glued together, that's it. You can go ahead and use some command strips to place it in the corner of your wall. That is exactly what I did. And these boxes don't fit huge things, remember that. So I just added some succulents from Dollar Tree and some little crystal things that I have. It's more like a trinket type of display versus something where you're going to stick like, you know, I don't know, a cup inside of, unless it was like a tiny cup. Can you imagine real greenery inside of this thing? It would look so pretty. You can even take the corner shelf, flip it over, and place it on top of the credenza like I have. You can place it on top of a mantle. You can hang it up above your couch. It's completely up to you, and it doesn't have to be the shape that I did. You can do them all side by side by side. Now I'm going to be taking those leftover drawers from this DIY, and I'm going to be staining them with this Min Wax Wood Finish Dark Walnut Stain. You can make two DIYs out of one box. You can actually make multiple ones on top of that. Next up, I take that Verithane Dark Walnut Stain and I am going to be staining these small little palette-like things that I got from Dollar Tree. Uh, that's what they look like to me. They're palettes. For this one, I recommend using a painting sponge to stain it because there's lots of little crevices that you got to get into and with a washcloth, it's kind of hard. So I ended up staining four of those and I'm going to be using wood glue to attach all four of them together. Once they are attached and it has dried, I take three of the boxes that I stained and I am attaching them to the bottom of this. And basically it could just be a little display that you can use to hold things. You could put this inside of your kitchen and put fork, spoons, and knives, plastic ones. I wouldn't put real ones inside of there and attach it to your wall that way and put something that says like utensils. I put some flowers in the boxes and added this hello sign from Dollar Tree. Really pretty and you can make this really big and actually put it outside near a garden and add a bunch of real fresh flowers inside of there and I think it'd be really nice. I had a lot of leftover drawers 
from that corner shelf DIY that I made. So I ended up taking six of those and gluing them together with my wood glue and creating a big Box. The drawers that are inside of the main box are the same thing where no two are alike. Some are bigger and some are smaller. So you want to place them around as best as you can. I ended up using some clamps to keep these ones together just because some of the boxes I had were a little warped so they weren't touching the box beside them the greatest. You could put again whatever you want inside of there. I added some floral pieces, the lavender and the eucalyptus pieces are from Walmart and then I placed that hello sign from Dollar Tree at the front of my box. Really pretty and you can make this thing as big as you want. You can make it huge. The last tech I have to share with you guys is taking some of those boxes, painting them whatever color you like. Yet again, I used a Rust-Oleum Copper Spray Paint, gluing the boxes together and just using them as makeup brush holders. I'm going to be taking some marble contact paper and cutting it down to place at the bottom of my boxes. And this is from the brand Duck. You can find it inside of hardware stores. I got mine from Menards. I cut those pieces down and I just attach them to the boxes. I suggest using some glue to attach them, though there is an adhesive on the back of this contact paper. It just doesn't attach the greatest to wood. So I recommend using a glue to attach it as well. And then I have this really pretty makeup brush holder. You can place actually a lot of makeup brushes inside of there. I just had a few on hand to place inside. And then to hold them so that they're nice and upright, I ended up using some marbles from Dollar Tree. They carry them in different colors. There's clear ones that are perfect for this. How pretty is that? So that is, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, but those are some hacks and DIYs using the little boxes that Dollar Tree carries. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Your support means a lot to me and I hope to get back into the swing of things eventually. That's where I'm going to leave it at, eventually. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.